Hello and welcome to the introductory video on social work. In this, I will be introducing social work as a problem solving process. After going through this video, you will develop a basic understanding of social work. You will understand who is a client and how exactly do we undertake this social work process as a problem solving one. So before going through the actual content, let us come to a common ground about life. So what is the need for social work or why do we actually require it? Because everybody wants to live a happy and satisfied life. Nobody wants to be in problem. Just remember those times whenever you were in problem, you never were uh, in a stable state at that time. You were disturbed and you don't want to be disturbed. Everybody wants to be happy. But then uh, is it that we just uh, remain happy throughout our lives and there would be no problems? No, problems are inevitable. They do come and they will be disturbing our sense of stability. But if this happens, does this happen for always? No, it does not. Because our system, which means our body, our mind, continuously works towards a dynamic stability, which means we try to reach to a state of stability despite of the different changes which we undergo throughout our life so which means if you are disturbed your disturbances are not going to last for a longer span of time yes for a short duration definitely you would be disturbed you can be in problem but then your systems are continuously working towards dynamic stability which means they are working towards you to be stable so for that it your systems that means your mind can actually come up with certain logics or it can come up with certain explanations or it can motivate you in a manner that you proceed ahead with your life and if that does not happen which means if your systems fail in that case intervention is needed and that is the need of social work so now let's see what exactly is social work it is a problem solving process whereby clients now who is a client a client is anybody who is in problem which means a client is anybody who is actually requiring our services who is actually requiring our intervention and again the term client is not limited to an individual it might be a group it might be a community which is requiring your interventions so these interventions are like you are adjusting the client either to the environment or you are adjusting the environment into which the client exists so there are different terms that we relate to social work like what is social work it is a profession it is uh, it is a profession for which you require education it it comprises of several skills we work on the dignity of the client we consider that to be important or and of worth a social work who is a professional need to be competent would be providing up services such people need to be uh, need to have integrity they need to inculcate values and compassion and would be continuously working towards justice and relationship but this is not just based on practice but it is also having theory and you need to empathize with the client in order to give give your best to be the best social worker So like I already said, who is a client? A client is basically anybody who is requiring our services. A client can be an individual, a client can be a group, and a client can be an organization, can be a community as well. So here, uh, just to explain the client system, I have taken uh, individual as a client, which means we are talking about a single person as a client. If he or she is requiring our services then what is the system so the system is going to comprise of the client which means what are the personal characteristics that the client is having what is the immediate environment 
which into which the client lives like the family or maybe the groups to which the client associate also we have the problem or the change situation towards which the client is working or has worked or is wanting to work along with this we also do have another uh, element or another entity present over here and that is a social worker so social worker is also going to be a human being with certain personal characteristics and of course a professional background that's what in the earlier slide I said that uh, when you're talking about professional social work we do have a system of education you have the aspects of theory and skills into it and that's what is giving a professional background to the social worker then what are the roles that the social worker is uh, undertaking what are the principles that he or she is applying and what is the practice frame in which he or she is uh, offering the services so this is the element of social worker and we have the element of client now when they interact why are they interacting they are interacting to build upon a change and in that both which means the client and the social worker need to participate in the process whereby the client will be bringing the abilities and the and would be involved in involved in activities and decisions at the same time the social worker would be bringing in skills techniques and knowledge uh, in order to bring about the planned change process but this does not happen in isolation this is happening within the premise of a social agency or a practice setting which means which means the practice setting is going to actually limit your uh, practice and would define your framework which means if the agency is meant for uh, say uh, education or literacy you cannot actually help the client with problems pertaining to sanitation you have to limit to what your agency is for again the terms and conditions of the social agency also do not exist in isolation but they exist at the societal level which means what are the social policies and the programs and what are the frameworks into which the agency is existing what is the legal framework what is the social framework what is the cultural framework framework and other other frameworks like the economic framework the political framework into which the agency exists and so this all all of these units are going to be the client system and this I am explaining only in terms of individual as a client there will be other entities if we talk in terms of groups and communities but just to keep the explanation simple I have taken the smallest unit of intervention and that is an individual so here you can see the process of social work as a problem solving one and it comprises of six steps let's take a look at that one by one so we'll start off with the very first step that is intake so intake means you are accepting the client and you are taking the client into the problem solving process intake you are taking the client in you are, you are getting familiar with the client and you are trying to build upon trust in the client and how do you do that you do that by providing a conducive environment for the client so once the client becomes familiar to you and you have developed trust in the client in that case you begin with the second step and that is study now what is study study means exploring the situation of the client which means you are trying to know what is the problem of the client what is the history of the problem of the client and what has he or she done so far about the problem now this depends on to all the three aspects which means all the three aspects means now uh, what is within the client which means we have to see the personality of the client then what is between the client and the people surrounding him so these are the supporting factors these are the resisting factors okay so what is uh, what is helping the client to change or what is stopping the client from change these may be present at the interpersonal level or these may be present at the environmental level and how do you explore or how do you study the problem of the client by using certain tools like observation 
home visit that is you visit the visit the home of the client you interview the client and other people you listen to what the client is saying and you build upon a trusting relationship with the client once this is done we make a move to the next step that is diagnosis and diagnosis means we are now concluding just like a doctor first asks about the symptoms and then concludes as to what the disease is similarly in social work we first study the client and then you conclude as to what the problem is so you reach out to what is the core problem of the client you reach out to what are the associated problems of the client you reach out to why the, the these problems are there and what are the consequences of these problems or what are the outcomes of these problems and you try to establish a cause and effect relationship between the different components of the client system which means how are the people around contributing to the problems of the client or they are stopping the client a uh, client's problem they are helping the client to overcome the problem be it at the interpersonal level be it at the intrapersonal level or be it at the environmental level a successful diagnosis is very important and once that happens then we can begin with the phase of intervention the intervention again comprises of two stages and that is planning and implementation so what do you plan you plan your objectives you plan your approaches you plan your methods you plan the work structures the strategies the resources that you require you plan it along with the client so in social work we take a participatory approach and whenever you are planning your objectives are supposed to be smart in nature which is already written on this slide and you can go through it now when you are planning in that case you also need to consider the risks which are associated with planning and you also need to take consent from the client so after planning there needs to be an agreeable point which needs to be reached which means you and the client both need to agree on to something and that is where a contract is established now contract in case of certain countries might not be that legal but then in some countries it is very much legal so everything comes in th in the contract like when will you meet what is going to be your role for how long is the treatment going to be where are we going to meet uh, what is the timing for it what are the resources that you need what is the fees that you will charge and other such aspects would all come into the contract and once the planning part is done in that case we go to the implementation which means whatever we have planned now we put that to practice so if you remember the previous step i said that your objectives need to be smart in nature and t here stands for time bound and time bound means before you begin your intervention you are clear with when exactly it has to be terminated when exactly it has to be stopped and that is when you terminate the process so it is not when the objectives are accomplished but it is when you have already you know overcome the time that you had planned for intervention so that is what you call as an ethical termination which means when the time lapses that what you had already planned earlier now it may happen that your client is not improving and you feel like no i am not the right person to handle the problems of the client in that case you may refer the client to somebody else and that is also an ethical termination other than this if you are leaving the client in between or the client stops coming to you or you switch over to any other job all of these are unethical ways of terminating the process and that should not be done because that is unethical okay so now unethical doesn't means that your time lapses and then you are uh, you have not accomplished the objectives and so it becomes unethical no once you have planned the the timeline and you have you have already got a consent from the client in that case once that timeline gets over it is ethical to terminate the process at the same time if you feel like you require some more time in that case your contract is also may also be flexible and you may discuss the terms with 
with the client and make some changes over there so once this is done I mean once the termination happens in that case you evaluate now what is evaluation evaluation is simply you are checking as to what the objectives you had framed and then what the results you have achieved okay so if that if there is no difference between the two then your process is successful but if there is any difference in that case you record it up with reasons and why this is important is because you can use these records for further training or for further planning or for further interventions it can also be used up as a as a resource for others to learn So now what happens once we have terminated the process and we have evaluated our work do we leave the client just like that no we don't okay so we do the follow up now what is follow up follow up is simply checking on the client's progress which means whatever interventions you have done are they really successful is the client still following it are they still effective because now you are not in constant touch with the client so that is where follow up is required and how to do it you visit the client you visit the client or you are in touch with the client and these frequencies should reduce with time which means initially once you have terminated the process your number of follow up visits would be more as compared to the gradual later time okay and once the entire process is over and you are also coming to an end of your follow up in that case you leave the client with contact numbers preferably two and why that that is to be done in case if the client faces any relapse in that case the client should be clear with whom to contact So I hope you got an understanding about what the client system is a brief introduction about what social work is and social work as a problem solving process please let me know how did you like the video if you liked it please press the like button if you want to see such further videos then do subscribe to my channel and in case you want any other topics to be to be uh, taken up or you have any suggestions please do comment thank you and have a good day